Hello, today we're gonna talk about the Canon EF35mm f2 IS USM. This is a prime lens uh, designed for the Canon DSLRs full frame, the EF mount. Uh, you can work also on a um, crop sensor DSLRs from Canon on the EFS mount, uh, where it will act as a 56mm. Uh, and uh, the aperture will be roughly 1 to uh, 2.8 um, About the, the build quality this uh, lens does not come uh, uh, as a great pre pretender so you have uh, no red ring uh, neither a gold ring on it so you only have the, the silver ring um, This is a, a uh, plastic build lens but pretty okay i would say the back is metal all metal no weather sealing whatsoever on this one um, about the the front of the lens uh, the front of the lens of course it doesn't rotate it doesn't extend while focusing so it's uh, all the focus is interior it does feature a 67 millimeters um, thread. This lens could be a very well um, all-around lens to, to, to use it all day. About the switches, they're a little stiffer, it's pretty stiff, but that means you don't accidentally uh, uh, turn them on or off. And um, the, the focus ring, um, the focus ring is, is very well damped. Um, let's see. So it has a uh, half uh, half circle uh, way, and you you don't hear it while uh, you move it. It's pretty uh, pretty much silent. The, the autofocus is very fast and it's quiet. You do hear some small sounds uh, while in uh, in use, but like the 85 millimeters, you do have full-time manual focus, full-time focus override. Uh, about the construction, this is built of um, 10 lenses in 8 groups and uh, the diaphragm uh, has 8 blades. Um, let's see, the, the length of this um, lens is about 62 millimeters and it's pretty light too, it's 335 grams so um, you you won't feel too much weight when um, you, let's say you you want to use it for the whole day or for a longer period and um, the max uh, diameter on this lens is 78 millimeters um, this is a good optic lens again uh, fast autofocus and silent uh, the image stabilization is handy for still subjects uh, this claims to be up to four stops, so you can get up to half a second uh, exposure time without any problems. Well, this is pretty much all about it. We are gonna test it today for sharpness, for vignetting, and uh, we'll try to come up with a conclusion about this one. So now let's look at the test for the sharpness. This is at f2, so wide open in the center very good sharpness indeed the corner not so good but uh, we do see a uh, small improvement at f2.8 but let's remember we had great sharpness from f2 now going to f4 again a slight improvement but the the, the center was already great f5.6 looking great indeed and the corners are, are tech sharp f8 again all the frame is is tech sharp there's there's no problem for the center we're just looking for the corners at f11 the, the sharpness is, is still good the, the, the diffraction doesn't it uh, doesn't seem to to appear to to see the, the effects 
and now on that 16th uh, now it, it does get a little softer we can see it clearly in the corners and the f22 it's it's soft but there is a too small aperture so diffraction is here so in the end this is a great choice and uh, if i can uh, I, if i could uh, use uh, one lens only i would choose this one even on the crop uh, camera like a APC where it's a 56 millimeters and i say in that because usually uh, the 50 millimeters focal length don't have image stabilization on them so yeah great option uh, if not the first anyway on on the top for these best lenses to to use all the time so until next time don't forget if you like these videos i'm producing don't forget to click the the subscribe button the the bell to get all the notifications and uh, if you have any comments please do do leave your thoughts uh, down below in the comment section till next time bye bye